How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this quick video I'm going to be showing you a super quick and easy optimization you can apply to any PC whether it be high-end, low-end, old or new to see increased FPS but more importantly potentially massive reductions in stuttering issues on many games you play. The great thing about this optimization is that anyone can apply it and it's super quick and easy to turn both on and off so you can try this out for yourself see how it performs on your PC decide if you're going to be keeping it or reverting back and you can let me know of your results in the comment section down below. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark? Mark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. I did cover this optimization over a year ago on the channel, but so many people have been discussing covering these smaller bite-sized optimization videos and I've been really enjoying them. So whether you've tried this optimization out in the past or if you have no idea what it is, you can quickly and easily apply it to your system, see the performance gains if there are any, and show you how to quickly and easily revert it back. Disabling memory compression, sysmain or superfetch will stop common apps being preloaded into your system RAM as Windows predicts you may want to use them, giving you the sense that the apps are faster or snappier. In theory, for those of you that don't game, this is a better option to have enabled. So again, it's definitely worthwhile trying out in your system and seeing if if you prefer it or don't, but for those of you that game and want every ounce of performance possible and you don't want things being cached in your RAM in the background, we want to stop this for the overall best performance possible. Now before we apply any optimizations, we're quickly going to be setting up a system restore point. It takes about 20 seconds and it means if you forget how to change anything back in this video or for any reasons, it's so quick and easy to do. Simply take yourself down to the Windows button, search for System Restore, then select Create a Restore Point. Scroll down to your local disk C drive, which should be marked as System, then navigate down to Configure set turn on system protection, set the maximum usage anywhere from about 2 to 5%, then press apply, then press OK. Back inside of the main system properties tab, highlight C drive once again, go down to create, then simply name the restore point, we'll just call this restore optimize or anything you wish to, select create. After a few moments, the system restore point will then be created and at any point after this video, you can jump back to the system restore point or make use of it for any reason. To apply the optimization on your system, there are two different main methods I would recommend using. You only need to pick one of them. Well, first we'll be showcasing method number one, which I personally think is the most convenient method, and then I'll be showing method number two. First of all, what you need to do is navigate down to the Windows button, search for PowerShell, find the Windows PowerShell application, go over to the right-hand side to this, and run this as administrator. Select yes. First command we need to type or paste is get dash MM agent. Make sure that you do have the correct letters capitalized just to make sure that this does work. Then press enter. You'll see some basic system information come up where you'll be able to see true or false values. We're looking for the memory compression tab. As you can see for this system, it's currently set to true, meaning memory compression is enabled. If memory compression is currently disabled for you, I'd love to know of your system specs in that comment section down below. And if you've jumped into system optimization before, because if it's already disabled, that's fantastic. You don't need to do anything else. The optimization is already applied. But if memory compression is set to true, which for me it is, we want to disable this. So all we need to do, go into the description down below or type this out manually, disable dash mm agent space dash MC, then press enter. That should be memory compression then disabled. At that point, go to the top right, exit out of PowerShell, go to the bottom to the Windows button, right click on the power button and restart the system to ensure that that optimization has then been applied. Once the system has restarted, we're going to quickly navigate down to the Windows button once again, head back over to PowerShell, run this as an administrator. Once again, type in or paste get dash MM agent. This time when you put in the command, the memory compression should now be switched over to false. We're just doing that just to double check everything has been disabled. At that point, all you need to do is exit out, jump into some of your favorite games, do some testing. If you had any particular games which did stutter quite a lot or you were having problems with, please boot into those games, see if this has helped at least reduce those stutters, and in some cases, could potentially remove them altogether. If you decide that you want to re-enable memory compression for your system, if you just like the feature set that it offers through browsing or through productivity tasks, and you don't really care for the gaming options, optimization. It's super quick and easy to re-enable. If you did it through PowerShell, just simply open PowerShell once again, run this as an administrator, select yes. Instead of disabling, we'll type enable dash mm agent space dash mc then press enter. Once again, restart the system. And again, if you would like to double check it has been enabled, head back over to PowerShell, run as admin, select yes, type get dash mm agent, 
where you'll then be able to find that memory compression has been re-enabled and should be labeled as true. At the beginning of the video, I did mention there is a second method of doing this, but you may need to check up on this service to ensure that Windows doesn't automatically re-enable it. So I personally prefer method one, but to do this, all you need to do is navigate down to the Windows button, type in services, head up to the services app, select name so that you have this descending in alphabetical order, then scroll down to the S section. You'll then be able to find a service titled SysMain or SYS Main. The status will more than likely be running on your system. Right click on this, head down to properties. Inside of the section, what we're going to do is set the startup type to disabled and service status is going to be set to stop. Go down to the bottom right to apply, select OK. The sysmain, also known as superfetch, also known as memory compression service, will then be disabled on your PC until you come back to the services tab. Right click on sysmain, head to properties, set the startup type to automatic, select apply, then manually start the service afterwards, select OK. Sysmain will then be re-enabled on your system and up and running as it usually would. On this specific system I'm recording this video on, it features a Ryzen 5 5600 CPU alongside a Radeon RX 7600. If we head over to the analysis section for Borderlands 3 before compression, we can see that the smoothness has registered at 99.9% and our 0.1% lows are at 66. If we head over to the disabled memory compression, we can see that there is a healthy increase to the 0.1% lows of about 13 FPS or about 20% alongside very similar results to the smoothness. Heading over to Cyberpunk 2077, before compression we have a smoothness of 100% which is fantastic for the stock settings and 0.1% lows of 87.6. Heading over to the optimized settings, you can see there's an ever so small increase to the 0.1% lows, not much of a performance change, and could just be a factor of run-by-run -run performance deviation, but it's good to see there is no significant drop-off. We then also have the Modern Warfare 2 results, which is a 0.1% low of 99.7 with memory compression enabled, but 96% with memory compression disabled. So there is a small performance decrease on the Modern Warfare 2 benchmark, but again, not by much, and could potentially be down to run-by-run -run variants. For a quick example on this system, if we're comparing just the 0.1%, 1%, 1% and average FPS values, here we have two runs of Borderlands with memory compression enabled and two runs with it disabled. Both runs with memory compression enabled had 1% and 0.1% lows in the 60s. But if we then look at the memory compression disabled runs, the first of which is down here, which is a slightly lower average FPS, but we've got 0.1% and 1% lows in the mid 70s for both runs at this point. But you can see if we hover over the values, we're going anywhere from 11 to 12% increases to the 0.1% lows and 10 to 11% in the 1%s, which is where performance matters most because this is the lowest performance you will experience in the game. Let me know in the comment section down below which method you decided to go with. Let me know if you saw any performance increase or decrease from doing this and if you're experiencing micro stutters on certain games, how you've got on after disabling memory compression. If you've enjoyed this sort of optimization content, please do consider checking out the description down below where you'll be able to find out my playlist section where you can dive deeper into some optimization content alongside targeting specific system optimizations that you are interested in. Or if you're not entirely sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen now, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys over there.